joining our virtual St. Patrick's Festival. I'm Nicole McDonough Tufel, the current president of the Irish American Heritage Center, and I'm so happy to welcome you here today. While we're not able to celebrate St. Patrick how we traditionally would at the center, I hope you enjoy today's festival honoring all things Irish and Irish American. Joining us today are friends at the Heritage Center, Whiskey Mick, Steam, Kennedy's Kitchen, Joe and Declan McShane, and St. Stephen's Green. Also performing today are the Shannon Rovers, the Trinity Irish Dancers, and the Murphy Roche Irish Music Club and School. We'll also be featuring the 2020 and 2021 St. Patrick's Parade Queen and feature Irish poetry read by members of our cultural committee, along with virtual greetings from some of our members and volunteers. I would like to take a moment to thank our wonderful sponsors of this year's St. Patrick's events. A huge thank you goes out to Avery and Kill LLC Law Firm, the Young Lee Group with At Properties, Irish Community Services, the Shannon Rovers, and last but not least, the Trinity Irish Dancers. Again, thank you so much for your support. We appreciate you all so much for supporting another St. Patrick's Day Festival. I do have a feeling by this time next year, we will be able to celebrate how we did in 2019 and all the years before. I know I can't wait to see you all this time next year, enjoying a pint, wearing our favorite green shirts and singing our favorite Irish songs together. I so look forward to catching up like the old friends that we are. So until we meet again, please enjoy today's St. Patrick's celebration and have a wonderful and happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you.
a lovely jig uh, written by Natalie McMaster, our friend from Canada, and uh, then a uh, trad tune after that. So thanks a lot. The first tune is called The Volcanic Jig. So we'll leave you here with a tune called James Brown's March. See you soon.
Hi everyone, my name is Carrie McClowry and I am your 2020 and 2021 Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade Irish Queen. Unfortunately, due to the current times, we won't be celebrating together, but that doesn't mean we can't still have fun virtually. So everyone grab your green beer or your shamrock cookies and let's celebrate the Irish way. Happy St. Patrick's Day everyone! One, two, three, four. Here a tower shining bright, once the gleam in the night. And now there's just a rubble in the hole. Here the patties and the frogs, and the gamble on the dogs. And the gamble on the dogs. Thanks, we're Whiskey Mick.
Hey, thanks a lot. We're Whiskey Mick. Thanks for checking us out. We got a couple more songs. This one's another one by the Pose. It's called Transmetropolitan. very much to the Irish American Heritage Center for having us virtually tonight, today, this year. It's not the same as being in person at the Fifth Province and having a few pints, but we look forward to doing that again in person real soon. In the meantime, we're Whiskey Mac. Happy St. Patrick's Day.
Thanks a lot. We're Whiskey Mick. Happy St. Patrick's Day.
Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'll be spending it at home this year, but I'm looking forward to being back at the center soon. Hi, this is Elizabeth Ellis. I am one of the members of the Cultural Committee at the IAHC, and I'm recording some poetry for everyone to hear for this year's virtual St. Patrick's Day party fest celebration observance. The first poem is The Lake Isle of Innisfree by William Butler Yeats. I will arise and go now and go to Innisfree and a small cabin build there of clay and wattles made. Nine bean rows will I have there, a hive for the honey bee, and live alone in the big loud glade. And I shall have some peace there, for peace comes dropping slow, dropping from the veils of the morning to where the cricket sings, their midnights all a glimmer, and noon a purple glow, and evening full of the linnet's wings. I will arise and go now, for always night and day, I hear lake water lapping with low sounds by the shore. While I stand on the roadway or on the pavement's gray, I hear it in the deep heart's core. Just in time for St. Patrick's Day and Easter. Gift shop at the Irish American Heritage Center is open. You can come inside and browse with us. Hi, we're the Roach family. I'm Mike. Aileen. Megan. And we'd like to wish everyone a Happy St. Patrick's Day! A very happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. And I'm sure that uh, you've probably got one of these in your home somewhere. And uh, you probably don't have one of these, but we'll, maybe we'll talk about that later. Who, who knows? Who cares? But I bet you've got some of this stuff. Uh, you might have the Whiskey of Truth and uh, some of some other favorite Irish imports, a little bit of lovely Irish porcelain, and of course, an Irish drum made by Michael Quinlan out of Chicago. Fabulous instrument and a lovely collection of other things here that's so you can have a little bit of music in your house. And on St. Patrick's Day, we should honor our ancestors. In my case, on my mother's side out of Donegal, that'd be, that'd be my grandmother right, right there. My grandfather, my great grandfather on my father's side, my great grandfather on my mother's side. And, um, and then sundry other relatives. That there is a, a watercolor of the cottage that my grandmother was born in. That'd be Joseph Harvey there in any car. And this was the cottage back in the 1990s. All right, so that's the family cottage. That's my great grandfather's tin cup. Joseph Harvey was a fiddle player and a, a spoon with which he actually stirred his tea. Or so I'm told. How would I know, right? And you might even have one of these somewhere in the house because, you know, who doesn't want to have a Kennedy crest in their house, whether you're a Kennedy or not? <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. I mentioned our ancestors and uh, for all of those years, 
hundreds of years, millennia really. Um, our music was, um, this is where our music has happened and this I think is where it still sounds best, um, is in a kitchen. So on St. Patrick's Day we visit some of our favorite songs and we'll have you singing along here, all right? Um, there's a tear in your eyes and I'm wondering why for it never should be there at all. With that light in your smile, sure as stone you'd be guile, and there's never a teardrop should fall. When your sweet lilting laughter, like some fairy song, and your eyes twinkle bright as can be, you should laugh all the while, and all other times smile, so smile that smile for me, and sing along. When Irish eyes are smiling, sure it's like a morning spring. In the lilt of Irish laughter, you can hear the angels sing. When Irish hearts are happy, all the world seems bright and gay. But when Irish eyes are smiling, sure they'll steal your hearts away. For that smile is a part of the love in your heart, it makes even sunshine more bright. Like the linnet's sweet song, crooning all the day long, comes your laughter so tender and light. Now the springtime of life is the sweetest of all, let there be not a care or regret. And while springtime is ours, throughout all of life's hours, let us smile. Every chance that we get and sing along. When Irish eyes are smiling, Sure it's like a morning spring. In the lilt of Irish laughter, You can hear the angels sing. When Irish hearts are happy, all the world seems bright and gay, but when Irish eyes are smiling, sure they'll steal your heart away. Oh, lovely, lovely. All right. Um. On St. Patrick's Day, of course, we visit our favorite songs. And we've just got a few minutes with you here, so I'm, oh, I've got a song that visits a whole bunch of favorite songs. Um, wrote this for um, uh, a friend and a great musician, Owen O'Neill, who spent a few years in Chicago. Um, if you'll uh, listen to the music of John Williams, um, one of his recordings, I can't remember which, um, Owen O'Neill is back there on his bazooki, um, helping John sound as good as he always does. I uh, wrote this a couple of years back after um, visiting with, uh, with Owen and others at a session and uh, hearing Owen tell a few stories, uh, which included uh, his times in Chicago. Boy, does he have some stories about Chicago. Um, and a pretty strong opinion about driving through Gary, Indiana, too, back in the day. <laughs> this song visits um, a lot of, um, a whole handful of songs about County Clare. If you recognize all of these, and you are, um, you're definitely an aficionado of Irish songs. Oh, no, Neil is gone to Clare. Oh, no, Neil is gone to Clare. Oh, no, Neil has gone to Clare. It's a long, long way from here to there. When I think of prayer, it eases off my pain and 
levels out my thinking. The town of Kilrush, the town of Kilkee. Both towns can be seen from the high rocky slopes around the cliffs of Dunedin. Oh, no kneel is gone to plan. Oh, no kneel is gone to plan. Oh, no kneel has gone to plan. Farewell to Milltown Malmay. The sun shines bright today. Rocky shore is fringed with foam from Spanish Point to Flame. Listen, 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 bond up. Music in the open air. People the world over leave a part of their heart. Sing along, folks. Oh, no kneel has gone to plan. Oh, no kneel has gone to plan. The sun shines like a jewel on the lovely hills of Clem. We walk and see the Shannon flowing by as the nightingale sings songs for you and I. Knew that I loved you, knew with you I would stay. How mellow the light shines down upon the Shannon. song in that, then you are, then you definitely know your Irish music. And many of those are well known and a couple of those are um, fairly obscure. Uh, the last one I'll give you a hint, Owen O'Neill uh, wrote that last song, uh, uh, Take Me Up to Ennis Diamond. 
Um, he's got a great, great band called uh, The Fiddle Case. So when you're over in Clare, um, and I'm sure you're making your plans as we are to get over there as soon as we can, once everything is back the way it should be, um, look for Owen and, um, and The Fiddle Case. Uh, they're the Ennis and Doolin and kind of the surround, and in the surrounds. Right. All right. Thanks so much. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Oh, Christine O'Brien. Oh, and coming up next, we're going to have a video of the full Kennedy's Kitchen live at the Wild Rose Moon back in St. Patrick's. It was March 2018. So. Here we go. family on my mother's side, of course, from Donegal, as I mentioned earlier. I might bring out this photograph, which I'm sure you can't see all that well, 
way back there, right there. That's my grandmother, my mother's mother. That's Joseph Harvey, the, the family fiddle player. And you'll notice here the bare feet. So I'll tell people, we come from bare feet. And uh, both of my grandparents came over in 1927, just in time for the Great Depression. But my grandmother describes a, a fabulous, vibrant life in Ireland. And I asked her, why she left? And I was expecting a philosophical answer, the, um, the Irish Revolution, the Civil War, um, nine children and only one farm. And what my grandmother gave me instead was poetry. She said, I wanted to go to a dance with my friends. And all of my friends were in Philadelphia. So the house she grew up in, two rooms, there were nine children and there was an, uh, an uncle and a grandmother who was always there. And they had music every night. Don't worry, I'm not going to play the fiddle. Um, and songs. Um, but music for them was, uh, for my grandmother, was um, the fiddle and the human voice. That's all. That's all there was. Um, and they had music every night. So we're going to sing a little song, a Donegal song. Uh, at least I got it from uh, the great Donegal man, Packy Manis Byrne. May he rest in peace. Um, and it's a... a a um, song about emigration. Aren't, aren't they all? I know it happened long ago, just how long I do not know, but may have been a thousand years or more since the Irishmen agreed to take a trip across the sea, settle on a far and distant shore. So we settled far and wide to the land beyond the tide. That's how immigration first began. So on to this very day, although you'll travel far away, you're always sure to meet an Irish man. There are McNamara's in Sudan, Kelly's in Somaliland, Murphy's and O'Malley's in Siam. In Honolulu and Bombay, all the people there will say, "'Twas Irish built the great Grand Coulee Dam. There's a fellow named Maguire on the coast of Malabar. The king of Twingaloo is called McCann. I'll bet you all that I am worth in every corner of the earth, you're always sure to meet an Irish man. In the great big city of New York, there's old Sullivan's from Cork, there's Reagan's, O'Hagan's, and Malone's. And you will find the name accused far away as Timbuktu, in London there's McCarthy and McKeown. Was an Irishman, McGill first grew coffee in Brazil. Twas Mulligan brought the monkey to Milan. You may travel near or far, from Guinea land to Zanzibar, but you're always sure to meet an Irish man. Phileas Fogg, the story says, went round the world in eighty days, a trip he could have done in nine or ten. Let me tell you, if I may, cause of Mr. Fogg's delay was meeting so many Irish men. Oh, he met them in Peru, in Tangle Langaloo, the Caribbean, Karachi, in Japan. Mr. Fogg, who ought to know, will say no matter where you go, you're always sure to meet an Irish man. Ah, oh, he met them in Peru, in Tangle Langaloo, the Caribbean, Karachi, in Japan. Mr. Fogg, who ought to know, will say no matter where you go, you're always sure to meet an Irish man. A very happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody at the Irish American Heritage Center in Chicago.
Hi, everyone. My name is Tim Taylor. I'm the vice president at the Irish American Heritage Center. I want to wish you all a very happy St. Patrick's Day. And I know it's not the St. Patrick's Days that we've been used to with parades and lots of festivities at the Irish American Heritage Center, but I have a feeling they're just around the corner. And so until we meet again, a very, very happy St. Patrick's Day to you and your family and Slancha. Everything is going to be all right by Derek Mann. How should I not be glad to contemplate the clouds clearing beyond the dormer window and a high tide reflected on the ceiling? There will be dying. There will be dying. There is no need to go into that. The poems flow from the hand unbidden and the hidden source is the watchful heart. The sun rises in spite of everything, and the far cities are beautiful and bright. I lie here in a riot of sunlight, watching the day break and the clouds flying. Everything is going to be all right. Enjoying the event so far. 
I wanted to take a quick moment to highlight how you can help support the Irish American Heritage Center during these crazy times. We are currently in the midst of our annual appeal and all annual appeal donations can be made on our website at www.irish-american.org. Um, I will put the link below so you have easy access to it. You can also support the center by becoming a member, renewing, or gifting a membership, which you can also do through our website. As a member, you will receive special benefits such as discounts on rentals, pre-sale access to ticketed events, and so much more. Additionally, if you're in a position to contribute today, um, you can support the Irish American Heritage Center by donating through Facebook or PayPal during today's St. Patrick's event. Our St. Patrick's Fest is our largest single day fundraiser, and we love being able to share Irish culture every St. Patrick's season with everybody. So to donate to today's fundraiser for St. Pat's events, um, all you have to do is click the donate button accompanying today's video or click the link to PayPal. Thank you again for joining us today, and I hope that you are having a very wonderful and safe St. Patrick's Day. Hello there. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, the um, Irish American Heritage Center for inviting us to do this this live. And I will start off with a little song here just to get going. See how we get on then. Thanks for joining us, by the way. Then you want to say hello, Declan? Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Okay. Love harmonica. Dream to dream by the old canal. Boy, kiss my girl by the factory wall. Dirty old town, dirty old town. I hear the siren across the dam. Saw a train set the night on fire. Smelt the spring from the smoky wind. Dirty old town, dirty old town. Here we go.
Madagascar falls. Dream the dream by the old canal. I kiss my girl by the factory wall. Dirty old town. Dirty old town. <laughs> I was expecting a big clap there, but I forgot it was well, I mean, it was only me and him here. <laughs> I knew it. Dex was going to sing you song this time, I believe, wasn't it? Yeah, what happened in the video? Sorry? Something wrong with it. I don't know, I'll help it. Okay. Beautiful song, and it's beautiful, beautiful, beautifully sung by young Dex. <laughs> Time has come, and the trees are sweetly blooming, and the wild mountain time rose around the blooming heather. Will we go? Does he go? And we'll all go together to the wild mountain time all around the I will build my love about by your cool crystal fountain and round it I will pile all the flowers of the mountain where you go I see go and we'll all go together to pluck wild mountain time all around in the bloom and heather Would he go, last he go I will bring to the wilds And the deep and sacred And return with their spoils To the bower, oh my dearie Would he go, last he and we'll all go together to plot wild mountain time all around the blooming heather. Will you go, the go?
In a different words, but every time anybody sings Carrick Fergus, I think we all get around. Is it actually a better place in Scotland? If the truth was known. This is another version of the song as well. I wish I was in Carrick Fairs. No place on earth I would rather be among the warm and kindly people in that old town down by the sea. And there upon the rock of Fergus, that mighty castle stands proud and alone from the ramparts down to the dungeon. Our history lives in every stone. Down Belfast Lock has carried things many like me a sail away. We traveled far in search of fortune, not knowing them. For emigration, no matter where or where you roam, you can be a voice is calling. I will find peace till I go home. Bounce black stones there upon the sea. Perhaps I rest a wild dubbins or cast a line from Fisherman's Key. I live again, my days of child. Taste once more the salty foam. My heart still lies there in Carrick Fairness, the town I am proud to call my home. My heart still lies there in Carrick Fairness. How I'm proud to call my 
靠来梦。Rewritten by a friend of Van Morrison's. I can't think of his name though. Oh, what can I lift it up a bit, please, this time? Mr. Deco. Well, when we were on the cruise, he got the nickname Deck the Wreck. I'm gonna sing a little song. We've got a lot of, lot of Galway friends here in America and in Ireland. Here's the Galway gear. Right at the coast road, down the old long walk of a day, yeah, 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 yeah. I met a little girl and we stopped to talk on a bounce out day, yeah, yeah. And I asked you, friend, what's a fellow to do? Her hair was black and her eyes were blue. I knew right then. That I had taken a whirl on the south of from the big Galway girl. We were halfway there when the rain came down of a day, yeah, 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 yeah. She asked me up there about downtown of a fine stop day, yeah, yeah. And I asked you, friend, oh, what's a fella to do? Her hair was black and her eyes blue. I took her hand and I gave her a twirl. And I lost my heart to a Galway
you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. It's been a great night. I feel like a good golden copper tea now. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. This is Freedom by George William Russell. I will not follow you, my bird. I will not follow you. I would not breathe a word, my bird, to bring thee here anew. I love the free in thee, my bird. The lure of freedom drew the light you fly toward, my bird. I fly with thee unto. And there we yet will meet, my bird, though far I go from you, where in the light outpoured, my bird, our love and freedom too. Hello, my name is Donna Hawkins Quirk and I'm a member of the Board of Directors at the Irish American Heritage Center. Thank you for joining us for our virtual event. This past year has challenged us all in so many ways, but we know that the Irish spirit is strong and we look forward to welcoming you back to the center when the time is right. Until we meet again, happy St. Patrick's Day to you and your families. <laughs>
on fire years ago. In the 1920s, Irish music wasn't being played in Ireland, and a guy named Michael Coleman recorded this set, and he sent it home on 78 records, and it set Ireland on fire with Irish music. So, we're gonna play that for you now.
She's going to start us on some polkas. Polkas? Are polkas Irish? Polkas are totally Irish. They're from the south of Ireland, from a place called Kerry. And Bella's going to lead us. She's a wicked box player. And she's going to lead us in those tunes now. Two, two, two.
My name is Michael Collins, and I'm a new, new board member at the Irish American Heritage Center. My favorite thing about St. Patrick's Day is gathering with family and friends and listening to Irish music. This year, I plan to celebrate with my immediate family and enjoy traditional Irish food. One of my favorite things about the Irish American Heritage Center is the wide array of cultural activities on offer. Irish music, dance, literature, knitting, art, and food can all be found at the Heritage Center. I support the mission of the Irish American Heritage Center because I believe that culture and heritage is something that should be celebrated, preserved, and passed on from generation to generation. Poem by Avon Boland is Becoming Anne Bradstreet. It happens again as soon as I take down her book and open it. I turn the page. My skies rise higher and hang younger stars. The ship's rail freezes. Mary Hibernicum leads to Anne Bradstreet's coast. A blackbird leaves her pine trees and lands in my spruce trees. I open my door on a Dublin street. Her child, her words are staring up at me. In better dress to trim thee was my mind, but not save homespun cloth in the house I find. We say home truths because her words can be at home anywhere at the source, at the end, and whenever the book lies open, and I am again an Irish poet watching an English woman become an American poet. What's up? This is St. Stephen's Green coming to you from Gremlin Studios. Uh, we're here to play a few Irish tunes for you in honor of St. Patrick's Day. So we're going to kick it off here with a traditional one called McAlpine's Fusiliers. As down the glen came McAlpine's men with their shovels slung behind them. Twas in the pub that they drank their sub and out in the spike you'll find them. They sweated blood and they washed down mud with pints and quarts of beer. And now we're on the road again with McAlpine's Fusiliers. I stripped to the skin with a ducky pin way down upon the Isle of Grain. With horse face or tool, we knew the rule. No money if you stop for rain. McAlpine's God was a well-filled hod. Your shoulders cut to bits and seared. And woe to he who looked for tea with McAlpine's easel ears. Fell into a concrete stair. What horse face said when he saw him dead? It wasn't what the rich call prayers. How my navy short was the one retort that reached unto my ears. When the going swelled, then you must be tough with McAlpine's fusiliers. We Rushing check and pull Unshattering jams up the hydro dams We're underneath the Thames in a hole I've grabbed it hard and I've got me cards And many gangers to 
to cost me years. If you value your life and don't join by rights with make alpine fusiliers. If you value your life and don't join by rights with make alpine fusiliers. All right, this next one's a little bit more of a modern tune. This one's called Rose Tattoo. The pictures tell the story, this life's in many shades. How to wake up in the morning and before I start each day Take a drag of last night's cigarette that smoldered in its train Hide down a little something and then be on my way I've traveled far and wide and laid this head in many ports I was guided by a compass, I saw beauty to the north Drew the tales of many lives and wore the faces of my own Had these memories all around me so I wouldn't be alone Some may be from showing up, others are from growing up Sometimes I was on the stop and I didn't have a clue I ain't winning no one over However, just for you Got your name written here in a rose tattoo In a rose tattoo In a rose tattoo Got your name written here in a rose tattoo This one's for the mighty sea, mischief, gold, and piracy. This one's for the man that raised me, taught me sacrifice and bravery. This one's for our favorite game, black and red, we wave the flag. This one's for our family name, with pride I'll wear it to the grave. Some may be from showing up, others are from growing up. Sometimes I was so messed up and I didn't have a clue. I ain't winning no one over. I'll wear it just for you, got your name written here in a rose tattoo, in a rose tattoo, in a rose tattoo, got your name written here in a rose tattoo, in a rose tattoo, in a rose tattoo, got your name written here in a rose tattoo. This one means the most to me, it stays you for eternity, a ship that always stays the course, an anchor for my every choice, a rose that shine down from above, I signed and sealed these words in blood, heard them one sung in a song, it played again and we sang along. You'll always be there with me, even when you're gone, you'll always have my love, your memory will live on. Some may be from showing up, others are from growing up. Sometimes I was so messed up and I didn't have a clue. I ain't winning no one over. I'll wear it just for you. Got your name written here in a rose tattoo. In a rose tattoo. In a rose tattoo. Got your name written here in a rose tattoo. In a rose tattoo. With pride, I will wear it to the grave for you. In a rose tattoo, in a rose tattoo. Got your name written here in a rose tattoo. In a rose tattoo, in a rose tattoo. Signed and sealed in blood and I would die for you.
always a good one around this time of the year. Gets your blood flowing. St. Patrick's Day. These guys are going to switch uh, guitars real quick here. We're going to do another traditional one. Um, this one's a sad one, but if anybody knows anything about Irish music, you know that it's either sad or it's about drinking. Sometimes a combination of both. So this one is called Fields of Athenry. It's another traditional one. Um, often requested when we uh, play out, so. About lonely prison wall I heard a young girl calling Michael, they have taken you away For you stole true valiance coin So the young might see the morn Now a prison ship lies waiting in the bay Low lie the fields of Athenry Where once we watched the small free bird fly dreams and songs to sing and it's so lonely down the fields of Athenry about a lonely prison wall I heard a young man calling nothing When you're free Against the famine and the crown I rebelled, they dragged me down Now you must raise a child with dignity Lo The small free bird fly Our love was on the wing We had dreams and songs to sing And it's so lonely Round the fields of Athenry About a lonely harbor she watched the last star fall in As the prison ship sailed out against the sky For she lived to hope and pray For her love in Martin Bay it's so lonely on the fields of Athenry. No lie, the fields of Athenry, where once we watched the small free bird fly. songs to sing And it's so lonely Round the fields of Athenry Low lie the fields of Athenry For once we watch the small free bird fly Our love was on the wing We had dreams and songs 
to sing It's so lonely Round the fields of Athenry It's so lonely Around the fields of Athenry. My love by the gasworks wall dreamed a dream by the old canal. I kissed my girl by the factory wall, dirty old town, dirty old. A siren from the docks Saw a train set the night on fire I smelled the breeze on the smoky wind Dirty old town, dirty old town Gonna make make a big sharp axe, shining steel, tempered in the fire. I'll chop you down like an old dead tree, dirty old town, dirty. I drift in down the street Cats are prowling on their beat Springs a girl on the streets at night Dirty old town, dirty old the gas works wall dreamed a dream by the old canal I kissed my girl by the factory wall dirty old town dirty old All right, that was Dirty Old Town, made famous by the Pogues. We've got one more here for you tonight. Thanks again for hanging out with us. We are St. Stephen's Green, uh, again, coming from Gremlin Studios in Aurora. Um, thank you for joining us this evening. I know it's not a normal St. Patrick's Day, but we're making it the best that we possibly can. Make sure you stay safe out there. And uh, this one is called Galway Girl. Well, it 
took a stroll on the old long walk of a day. Met a little girl, we stopped to talk of a fine soft day. Hey, ask you, friend, what's a fella to do? Cause her hair was black and her eyes were blue. She asked me up to her flat downtown of a fine top day. I had I ask you, friend, what's a fella to do? Ha! Cause her hair was black and her eyes were blue. So I took her hands and I gave her a twirl. Oh, and I lost my heart to a Galway girl. Hard on a ticket home. Hey, I ask you now, tell me what we're to do. Ha! If her hair was black and her eyes were blue, I've traveled around and all over this world. Boys, I ain't never seen nothing like a Galway girl. Again, folks, for St. Stephen's Green, have a happy St. Patrick's Day.